things. This week, I learned a phrase that I thought was really cool until I learned the way people use it, and then I found out, oh, it's not so cool. <laughs> so what I was reading about was, um, was Secret Invasion. Uh, and I, I don't know. I mean, if you haven't seen Secret Invasion, it's not... I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. It's not for the reason that a lot of other people wouldn't recommend it. But um, Secret Invasion, you know, it has Samuel L. Jackson coming back in the role of Nick Fury. And, and he's old. It has, and he's old. Ooh, he's old. <laughs> and it has, you know, the scrolls from Captain Marvel. And there's all of this stuff. And that's the whole reason it's called Secret Invasion is because you have all these scrolls and they're changing and blah, 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 blah. But as I was reading about Secret Invasion, I uh, came across this thing that said, this is the part of the new MCU. Uh, not like MCU, right? Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's M-C-S-H-E-U. And in the universe. And I was like, oh, what a cool phrase. Like, the MCU. Yeah, like we're getting women more involved and we're getting main characters. And I love this. That is not like what <laughs> the way people use it. The way people use it, if you were to look on like Reddit or like anything like that, it is a very I don't I don't know how to say it. paternalist. What is, what is it? Patriarchy sort of thing of like why are there so many women that exist in this? Everything is all this. Oh look, the subtitles are on. You can read what he's saying. Um, you know everything like that. And so. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting to have that, and not to be too uh, too sexist here, but I'm gonna let Kristen go first on here. Um, <laughs> Kristen, when you're seeing all of these the women superheroes coming out, right? We have the Marvels that is coming out next. Um, we have She-Hulk. Uh, we have uh, Gaia, which is she, she, oops, I shouldn't have. There's a woman no, that comes out, no, no. out of Secret really Invasion. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you can bleep it in the in post in post i'm not gonna bleep it in post but we could we could bleep it in post that's true <laughs> that's true um, new ken does not care new ken is not i'm not doing that much i'm sorry if yeah if you, you really know. wanted to know you would already know <laughs> you, yeah exactly. you would have watched that's Secret true. Invasion. that's true it's not <laughs> like yeah you're waiting on it um but what do you, what do you, what are your thoughts on all the you know the the M, what are your thoughts on the new MCU? So I didn't know um, about this either. And when you said MCU, I'm like, oh okay, is that kind of like how they're like, oh CEO, which is you know boss ladies, women who are leading companies and in high positions of executive power. Um, and so yeah, that was disappointing to hear. Um, it's like this, like the first set of heroes that came together in the MCU, there was only one woman and it was Natasha Romanoff. Like Black Widow is cool, right? But like, she's not super powered. She's not a mutant, you know, she she's just a really well trained and well disciplined you know, like Russian person. <laughs> and, Are you girl Nighthawk? I, 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 I'm saying she's she's her herself. And Yelena <laughs> is the same. You know? Natasha, I mean, you're you. You are you. <laughs> you are but but think about it like this though. I mean, just by herself, like she was still like technically like stronger than say hawkeye oh yeah definitely i mean yeah. right i mean i'd rather could, take Natasha you know just hawkeye. beat people down like with her bare hands and feet and whatnot but that was it that was like the only female person and and then they brought in carol danvers and that was weird um because it was right like right over scarlet witch man you were just like <laughs> she's not a hero i think she's she's a mixture of things right she's an anti, um, yeah anti-hero yeah kind and of. she's yeah. part of this next phase 
Like she wasn't one of the originals. I, I'm talking yeah. about like okay. the Avengers, like yeah. the, the original team up. So we're so, talking Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, uh, Hulk. Uh, Hulk, Captain America, right? That was... Hawkeye and yeah, so the six that were in that the little circle when the yeah. Jatari. Actually, I'm gonna pull it up so I can the get people it, the... who show up in Rogers the musical. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that one guy wasn't even there. <laughs> Was it, was it Ant-Man? They had it. Except for Ant-Man. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. If you haven't seen so, Roger the Musical, please watch it. It's amazing. Just watch it on YouTube because it's going to be gone before the end of the summer. I'm sad I don't get to see it in person um, like Cameron does, which honestly is an affront to me because I live on this side of the country now. <laughs> <laughs> but... There were bound to be more women going forward. It, it was kind of, I mean, an inevitability because you only had one before. Um, and so if we're moving into this new phase, these are the characters we have left um, uh, from among whom we are going to be like picking and choosing to create our next set of stories. Um, especially if we're looking at who are we allowed to even use so we can do our favorite thing, which is just, you know, shoving IPs left and right into everything within the parks, knowing that there are certain things that we can never use in Florida, because um, that's still a thing in a lot of ways. So the fact that there are more women showing up isn't in and of itself like this whole, like, oh my gosh, everything is just totally woman focused now, um, because, especially when you look at like the storylines that some of these people are getting, some of these movies and TV shows um, could have, they could stand a little bit more nuance. Like all the people who hated on She-Hulk, um, okay, there were some pieces about that that were like, uh, did you really like, I don't, I don't know. I, did she have to twerk with Megan Thee Stallion? <laughs> Maybe not. Um, but no, for, she did for not. Those no, of us there's no are... maybe in that. <laughs> Say no. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, she did not. <laughs> Nobody wants to see giant green cakes. That's all I'm saying. Um, <laughs> but for those of us who are women, who are lawyers, uniformly, every woman lawyer I know enjoyed She-Hulk mm. um, because we're lawyers and there were lawyer things in it and they were actually lawyerly, um, including the patriarchy that was there. Um, I think people really hated She-Hulk because it was the most pointed in making fun of patriarchy and incels and all of those other subgroups of people. And honestly, we haven't seen what's gonna happen going forward, but there will be things that tie back to that show. We already know, we see people that are already, you know, speculating about that. Um, and that was one of the things that I did enjoy about Secret Invasion because it did bring up some of those threads that could be tied in. Um, I'm hoping that the Marvels does okay because um, it looks kind of mid from <laughs> from what I have seen with that. But then there's also this thing of, are men even watching some of this stuff in the first place? The reason that there's no interest, I think, on some people's part is because they haven't done all of the scrambling around to, to watch every single ancillary show. Um, and so that's a general thing that's a problem for everybody with the MCU. You have to watch every single show now to find out about like major plot points that, for real, they threw that in a show? They, they, they're not gonna talk about this in an actual movie? So that's, that's across the board. But then take that and then layer upon it the fact that a bunch of dudes who were like, uh, like, why are we always talking about women so much? Like, blah, blah, blah. They're not going to watch those shows. So they're not going to have any interest in the movies that then feature the same characters that came from those shows. I mean, yeah. And then you see how some of the women characters were treated in the various films once they were on the scene. Captain Marvel has this entire movie, like, just to herself where it introduces her, it kind of explains like, how did she get here in their version of what has gone down? And then it's like, bye. And next time you see her, she's like, yeah, I've been off, you know, doing stuff and I got a haircut. Um, 
okay, like, where's the continuity that makes us want to care about these characters the way we cared about the original set of Avengers? It's lazy. So, so can I say, um, so uh, uh, a couple things. Like, I think you're absolutely right. I think, uh, so part of me feels like women got involved in the MCU too late. And what I mean by that is, so I, I like, check out this, uh, this screen. I had this up for just a second while you were talking, Kristen. Um, and again, this is the, the um, whole group of Avengers. This was the first Avengers movie. Um, and these are the Avengers. These are the people that we're following. You yeah. have Thor on one side, you have Hawkeye, you have, uh, you know, Natasha, the, all of these. Yeah. Now, replace this, completely flip this and make it all women and one man. How do you feel about that? If I think you it's great. <laughs> <laughs> the, I, but that's my, my thing is, well, but hold on, hold on. Because my thing is, if you can't just be okay with that concept, I'm not even talking about the actual characters or any of the powers or anything like that. Like, if you literally cannot look at this picture and flip it and say, am I okay with that concept of... One, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, five. I counted too fast. Five female superheroes and one male superheroes with no power. Well, Natasha has something. I don't know what it is. But a gun with basically a gun. Pew, pew. Um, then that's, that's it. The reason I say that I think that women got involved in the MCU too late is because the MCU uh, has started to be criticized for large CGI battles, how many powers, you know, people are having, all of this stuff. And it's, it doesn't know what to do. I don't want to say it doesn't know what to do with women. It's providing the female characters with the same exact powers as the men had. Like, even in, I'm going to ruin Secret Invasion, okay? If you wanted it, you should have seen it, all that stuff. <laughs> but even, even in Secret Invasion, the whole point with at the end with Gaia is that she basically gets all the powers of the people that had come before her, which Every is where person. Marvel, like, which is where Marvel's been at before. So I think there's, I think like there's two things. I, I think you're right, Kristen. There's people who are like, I'm just not, just not going to watch it. I'll be lost, whatever. Fine. But I think there's also this idea of storytelling where Marvel's like trying to do some of the stuff that it's already done and it doesn't really make sense. Like the She-Hulk, the twerking, like that might have worked, I think, maybe a long time ago. Um, but I don't think it works now. I don't think it works with where the MCU is. I don't think it works with that character personally. I did not see that. To me, it came out of nowhere. But that, <laughs> um, but yeah. Cameron, I'll let you go uh, now because I had my say. No, no. The only thing I was going to say is when you are used to privilege, equality feels like oppression. And so, like, having, all, like you said, if you can't look at that picture and flip all five men into women and then have one man and be like, yeah, okay, I could see that. And you're like, oh, oh what are all these women doing here? Yeah, like, you need to examine your privilege because that is that is not a quality. And you can say, oh, this is, this is not a, a, you know, true to the story. There are, just thinking it like off the top of my head, like there are different, like there's a, we already had, a, oh gosh, what's her name? Jane as Thor. Like there was yeah. Captain, um, not, oh gosh. Captain, Captain Carter. Britain. Yes, Captain Carter. Yes, Captain Carter, Carter. Yes. yes. <laughs> like we have She-Hulk, like, um, and then Pepper as yeah, so we yeah we have all of I these, see Pepper like we have all of these yeah. things Ironheart too like, yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> so uh, that's my thing is don't get so caught up in your privilege that you're seeing equality and you're like oh they're they're oppressing me like no like please realize that you are privileged and that things were not equal and so now when we're making it equal that is not oppression to you that is equality. Yeah, love it. Well, I'll say from the from the old people standpoint, I'll say 
back when I was a kid, we read these things in comic books, and there were these characters were in comic books, and we read about these characters. So this is nothing to, to the old school people. This is really nothing new. Uh, and universes, Marvel included, not just DC, but they've been resetting these things over and over again and doing new takes, bringing in new characters that have the exact same powers and stuff. It's been doing. They've been doing that for uh, almost a hundred years now. So I don't. I don't understand where all the hate's coming from. I personally can't wait uh, to see the Marvels. Not. Not really for the story. I'm not excited for the story. I'm excited to see Kamala Khan again. Because I loved her and her family from the series. I loved that series. It was so good. Uh... And it, me and my 13-year-old son are the one that's been watching all these. My wife and daughter have kind of checked out because they don't want to follow all the threads. So all these all these women's stories, me and my son are watching them. And we're loving them. So I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know where these criticisms are coming from. Well, I, number one, you're not old, Ed. There are people that are way older. Number two, even if you were old, you're not old in your attitudes whatsoever. Yes. Um, you are extremely young and forward-thinking um, in that way, which is why we love you. <laughs> I think legit, though, like to put what Ed said on point, like I think Ed just paid attention. Well, we're talking about Ed, like he's not here or whatever, but... <laughs> I literally think he just paid attention to what was in the comics. Like people talk about woke stuff and if this is so woke and this is so bad and all this stuff, but then people will come up with the comics, like literally issue, issue five, like this, this is what happens in issue five. Like if you just read it, it's an issue five, like years ago. So like, yeah. it's, it's, now, if you didn't grow up like reading them or, or looking at certain things like that, then yeah, no, I, I get it. But and yeah. that that was literally the reason for the comics. Like the comics were there to be this way to slip social commentary and report on what was happening in the country and in the world in those times. In, in a way where like it was it was sneaking veggies in in desserts in that way like perhaps maybe that the people that read this will see the themes of equality and not othering people and trying to push for a better society and working together in a collaborative way and maybe they'll apply those things to their everyday lives perhaps but no, there's definitely people like who who read the comics and that just completely went over their heads. Right. Yeah. They saw the bam, yeah. boom, wow, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bam, poo, wow, 